and welcome back to another video here with angel b designs if you're new welcome if you're not welcome back um my house is still a little under the weather so for now i am still at home i haven't been able to get back into my office yet hopefully that will change next week let's keep our fingers crossed um so i am going to do another canva tutorial for you guys um if you watched my last couple of videos where i was talking about Etsy and how to turn um, using your Cricut into a business and things like that. In both of those videos, I did mention um, making your product pictures look um, intriguing. Um, I know a lot of times in the craft world, a lot of the product pictures kind of look dark or gloomy or you can't really see the product like that. Um, so I just wanted to kind of stress the importance of having really, really good product pictures so that, um, one, people are intrigued and want to click on your post, or if you sell on Etsy, they want to click on, you know, when they're searching Etsy on that Etsy on that front page or whatever, when they're searching something, um, you want them to click on your thumbnail. So you want your pictures to look nice and bright and vibrant. And I just wanted to kind of take today's video to show you guys how two different ways that you can brighten up your pictures um, and how you can take your pictures and maybe turn them into something else so that those customers are intrigued to click on them, okay? So we're gonna start in Canva here. I am using the Canva Pro Edition. If you don't have it, I will drop a link down below for um, you to be able to try it free for 30 days. But we're gonna go over to create a design or you can go and you can type in here. We're gonna use the Instagram post, okay? The Instagram post is going to give you a symmetrical post so that when you go to put it on Facebook or Instagram, it's gonna be the perfect size. You won't... I, if it's nothing worse than taking a picture on your phone and then when you go to put it on Instagram or Facebook it makes you crop it and then some of your picture gets cut off so if you use the Instagram post it's automatically going to be formatted you won't have to crop it it's going to be the perfect size so we're going to use the Instagram post today I've already gotten it here is my picture here okay um this is a tumbler I did. This is my kitchen. Um, I just kind of put it in front of the wall in my kitchen and um, I put a ring light on it and then I took the picture. Um, now this isn't a bad picture. If you take pictures like this, it's not bad. It's not, you know, it's just, it's nothing kind of special. It's just a picture of the tumbler, really, that's it. Okay, so I'm going to show you the first way. If you want to keep your pictures like this, but you want to kind of crisp up the picture, we're not going to change like the, the we're not going to change too much about it because you want your image to still look like what the product looks like so nobody gets disappointed. Um, but one way you can kind of just crisp up and brighten up the picture a little bit more. We're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and select this and we're gonna hit edit image and we're gonna go down here to adjust. And then you can adjust the brightness a little bit, not too much, okay? And then the blur option, we just wanna crisp it. We don't wanna change the colors or anything like that. So we're gonna go down a little bit. And do you see how it just kind of makes the image a little like less blurry? It still has its color, okay? We still know this is going to be yellow. This is going to be black. We still know what these colors are and what they're going to be. They just look sharper so that we can tell what the true color is, okay? So that is how we're going to go ahead and just sharpen up the image. Okay, so this is one way that you can have your product pictures and, again, just make them look um, crisper, just like kind of sharpen them up a little bit. You could leave it like that. That's perfectly fine. Or another way that you can display your product pictures is with kind of like a small flyer like this. Now, for me being a personal shopper, if I see something like this on Facebook or Etsy or something like that, it's going to catch my attention or Instagram, it's going to catch my attention quicker than this one would. Um, and it's also answering my questions 
on the first glance. Um, a lot of people, a lot of shoppers are lazy. So if they have to do too much clicking to figure out the answers to their questions, they're just going to move along. So because I added this text here, um, I gave it a title and said what it was. Okay, so if I see this, I'm like, oh, that's a cute cup. If I don't know anything about tumblers or anything like that, I would just say, oh, that's a cute cup. I, I don't know exactly what it is. So I put up here in the title, it's a 20 ounce tumbler. So that automatically tells me what it is. Then it answers my question. Okay, can I put any design I want on the cup? Yes, you can have your design of choice. Does the, does the ice topper come with it? Yes, the topper is um, the topper does include the ice. Can I add anything else other than ice? Yes, you can add fruit by request. And how long does it take? five to seven business days. The only thing that's not on here is the price. And I wouldn't suggest listing your price because you want them to contact you or go to your website or, what, or click on your listing or whatever the case may be to figure out what the price is. And then I did go ahead and list my website here. You can list your Etsy um, shop. You can list your website. You can list your Instagram page, wherever it is that you um, take your orders, okay? So now I'm gonna show you how to design a picture like this, okay? So we're gonna go ahead to add a page and we're just gonna make this back canvas white here. I'm gonna go to my uploads, which has my image. This is the image, this is the picture that I took of the cup. And we're gonna go up to edit image and background remover. So now it just went ahead and it removed the background for us. Um, a key um, option, or I'm sorry, a key thing to taking your picture, you don't wanna take, like let's say my backsplash had yellow in it, you because this has yellow in it you don't want to your the background of your picture to be the same color i'm sorry if you can hear my kids in the background like i said i'm at home still stuck at home um but you don't want the image um you don't want your background to be the same color as your image because when you go to try to remove the background the background remover is not going to be able to tell what's the cup and what is the background so it's going to try to remove everything that's yellow and then it might take off some parts of your cup so you want the background to be a different color from your cup or have different colors than your cup. If you have a black, red, and green cup, then you can use a white background, that'll be easy. If you have a black cup, then you wanna try to use a white background. So just um, try to use a different color for your background than whatever your cup is if you're going, if you know you're going to be removing the background. Okay, so <clears throat> let me move this down. Okay, so the background, I actually could have kept this that gray color because the background is going to be that gray color. Okay, and then as you can tell here and here, I just kind of edited it the same way I did down here. So then I, you know, I made it a little bit crisper. Let me show you the before and after. So this is before we played with the settings. This is after. Do you see how in comparison, the um, this one looks a little bit blurrier compared to this one. Um, this one is just a little bit more vibrant, a little bit more brighter, but the colors are still true colors, if that makes sense, okay? So I'm going to put this back up here. And then I'm going to go ahead and edit this image. We're going to go to adjust. We're just going to brighten it up a little bit. I think I brought the saturation up a touch and then played with the blur. There we go. That looks pretty good to me. And then I added a shadow underneath here. I think that looks really cool. So we're going to go over to elements and you're going to type in shadow. And I use this one here, which is free. So you will be able to use this in the Canva free version. Then you're just gonna line it up and you see how the shadow is on top of the cup. We obviously want that shadow to be like underneath kind of behind the cup. So we're gonna position it backward. So now it looks like the cup is casting the shadow. And then what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and group these so that anytime I try to move the cup, the shadow will move along with it. Okay, 
The next thing we're gonna do is I added this title here. Now, um, this is in the preset, the text presets, which is right here, this sparkle. So I just added that to my template. I mean, to my canvas here, you're going to go under text and then font combinations should be underneath your text. Sparkle is in my recently used, but you can scroll down and sparkle is right here. Sparkle is also available in the free version. And then I'm just going to type 20 ounce tumbler. And I'm going to pull it out so that it's a one liner. And then we're going to adjust it so that it fits. Okay, and then I'm going to position this forward like that and make it just a little bit smaller. I don't want it to be bigger than the text. Okay, that looks good. So the next thing I added was this text here. So I'm just gonna go to add a subheading. The, the font I'm using is Montserrat Classic and we're just gonna type it in. So design of your choice. Um, topper includes ice fruit add-ons available by request five to seven day business day turn around okay and then the way i formatted this was up here you have your bullets so i just click that and then i click the alignment and i want it to be the left alignment and then I also wanted some space in between these lines a little bit so it's easier on the eyes. So this little spacing tool right here, you're gonna click that and then a line spacing, you're gonna make the line spacing go up. And I feel like that just makes it a little bit easier to read with the space between the lines like that. Okay, and then I added some palm trees. So we're gonna go into elements and we're gonna type in palm trees. And I'm gonna go under graphics so I can find the palm trees I want, which I believe these are the ones I use. Yes, this is the one I used, which is a pro palm tree. And um, you see how it's kind of going the other way. I want this to go this way. So I went up to flip horizontal. So now the palm trees are going in the direction of the image, if that makes sense. And then I just added my website. So you can add whatever information here you want, your website, your email, your phone number, your Etsy shop, your um, social media handles, whatever you want. And then I also add um, space in between these letters, letter spacing here, um, just because, again, I think it makes it a little bit easier to read when you put some space in between them like that. Okay. And now it looks like a nice little flyer. Um, like I said, you can upload this to Etsy. Um, you can upload this to your website. You can upload this to Instagram, Facebook, whatever the case may be. Both are acceptable. I just, I wanted to show you guys how to take product pictures, how to brighten them up a little bit so they're not really dark and gloomy. Um, how to make them look kind of intriguing and inviting and it makes customers want to click. That's what's going to get your sales is if your pictures are capturing their attention. Um, so I just wanted to do this quick little video and show you guys that, you know, you can do this in Canva if you are already invested in Canva. Um, it's definitely something I would say if you sell anything, 
super easy, super beginner friendly. You can literally type in the element search bar, pretty much anything that you want. Just, I would say if you're designing like a little mini flyer like this, whatever the theme of the cup is, just kind of make it go with the theme. So I added the palm trees and I added the yellow neon and it just kind of goes with the theme of the cup. So I would say if you're selling a Valentine's Day cup, maybe added some, um, some hearts and some, you know, just Valentine's Day themed colors and things like that. Okay, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, drop them down below. Any video ideas, drop those down below. Fingers crossed, um, I should be in my office, back in my office on Monday morning so I can start doing some more projects with you guys. Um, but I did want to put out some type of video even though I am stuck at home right now. Um, but hopefully I'll be back in the office next week so that I can start doing some physical projects. You guys stay safe. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.